Hey everyone, what is up? Stazima here, bringing you Strike Back Mission 3. If you're not familiar with Strike Back, it's basically it's part of the Respawn Army application on Facebook. And if you don't know what that is, check my one of my previous videos. I'll explain it really good. And then also be sure to follow me there. And you can ask me anything you want on the questions there if you want. But anyway, the, the challenge was it was to get five sticks in one game. Now I do get it pretty quickly, but I'm not the most eloquent sticker in the world. So please not, don't, uh, you know, don't try to judge me too much based on my sticking abilities. Now, besides sticking and besides the Respawn Army, I want to talk about something really big. Is the, um, the anniversary gameplay that came out the other day, which is anniversary. The maps are just basically a map pack of Halo Reach. For those of you who don't know, it's the, it's the campaign. And then the Halo Reach is basically, and then the maps that come with it is basically a Halo Reach map pack because the developers 343. Don't want to split up the the um, community of Reach any more than it already is. They want to keep everyone on one game, so that's why it's basically just a map pack. And the other day there was a map pack on the map Damnation. And the big thing about this was the fact that when the person shot with their DMR, there was no bloom with the DMR whatsoever. Now this is a really really big deal. The reason this is a big deal is because. I know a lot of the, the newer players of Halo Reach aren't going to be very happy with this, and I have already read the reactions of some of the newer players. A lot of newer players don't like the don't like the fact that 343 is taking out of the bloom, but a lot of the more veteran Halo players are really happy that they're actually taking out the bloom. Now, this is because the newer players were exposed to it from the beginning and they don't know, but the veteran players know that Halo has always been a really, really competitive, hardcore kind of game for them. And that they've always wanted it to be super competitive and super fair. And the the reality with the bloom was just the fact that it wasn't completely fair as it could have been. Now, in in theory, bloom is very fair and very it's very it adds skill to the game. In theory. But Halo Reach, it was executed in such a way that it made sometimes the least the least skillful player would win the game rather than the most skillful player. Now, in let me just explain for a second. If the person with the better DMR was just shooting and shooting and shooting, and they once they take that fourth shot, they wait for them to, they wait for the DMR to reset. But the less skillful player just keeps spamming and spamming and spamming. In theory, the better player, the person who waits for his DMR to go down, should win. But sometimes the player who's just spamming, sometimes he'll get that lucky shot, and sometimes his DMR bullet will randomly go into the head of that person and kill him. And sometimes the least like the least skillful player will win over the most skillful player and that's basically the worst part about the reach bloom and that's why 343 is fixing it and there's going to be absolutely no bloom which I think personally I think that is awesome that what they're doing that and for those of you who still like bloom do not worry at all because this is a playlist specific thing so you're only going to see this no bloom implemented in certain playlists I am predicting in the Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary playlist I'm predicting in the MLG playlist, and I'm also predicting in the Team Classic and Arena playlists. Other than that, I'm pretty sure that you're going to be able to see the bloom on the DMR in every other playlist, such as the regular Team Slayer, the um, Rumble Pit, Action Sack, stuff like that. You're going to be seeing your bloom in there. So if you like the bloom, it'll still be in there a little bit, but it's going to be in the, in the more hardcore competitive playlists. It's going to be no bloom, which I think is a really, really good thing because it, satisfi it satisfies both parties it satisfies both the hardcore gamers and the casual gamers it satisfies the old players to reach and it satisfies the new players to reach so i really really think that 343 has done a really great compromise here in the fact that they're only doing it to these um certain playlists and that you can make these into because it's not going to be a switch that you can turn it on and off if you want to make a custom game type with the no bloom dmr you're going to have to save the game type first and then go from there. It's going to be just like in the Halo 3 when you had the infinite uh, or in the um, the instant mod, the instant respawn mod. It's going to be just like that. So this that's going to be a really really great thing. I'm really I'm really happy for 343, and I'm pretty sure we're not we're not going to have to wait until Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary to see this. I'm pretty sure we're going to see this update sometime in September, maybe at the end of August. So I'm really ex excited for that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video, and I will see you guys next time.